Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play East, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I managed to level grind up to level 3, and unfortunately I did not buy any new equipment or any items. Because I don't make enough money to get it. Sadly, the enemies I fight, which is like goblins and trolls, or whatever you call these purple or brown things, they don't give you enough money. That's the problem. And of course, whenever you level up, you don't automatically go to max HP. Therefore, you have to wait a while. Okay, so now my stats are at 30 and 26. Strength goes up quite a bit. Defense, not as much. But believe me, strength comes a long way. I can't even get a healing potion, because that's like a thousand gold. And I can't even buy any upgrades of armor or weapons. It's too expensive. So with that said, I'm going to have to make do with what I got and head over to the town of Zepic. Which is to the east of here. Nice little statue over there to the south. We'll deal with that later. I don't know how later, but we'll find out soon enough. Unfortunately, there's no map of the game, therefore you have to do all the exploring by yourself. But you can manage. I think I just gotta head south and to the east. Good thing I got that crystal from Sarah in the first part. Otherwise, I won't be able to get far without it. Ah, there we go. Ah, oh, that guy seems a little too happy. Why is he swinging his staff around like he's drunk? We lost a fellow thief, Dogi, in Darm Tower. I wish I could leave a flower for him. Now, Dogi, if you remember my East 3 Let's Play, he was Adol's partner and friend. Luda, the poet, is missing. I wonder where he went. Where he went. So, sad to say, I think this adventure or the sequel is where Adol met Dogi for the first time and no one's home. Well, this is a very lively town already. I like the music, it's a pretty nice theme. A lot of open space in the forest. I saw a strange slate at the mine. I'm good for you! You must be very proud. The books of East mention the goddesses who saved this country from disaster. I wish they would return. Hey, wishing's not gonna do you any good, you gotta do something about it, okay? So swing that staff around normally next time, then you won't look so drunk. Ah, you're the chief. Come in, young man. Can you keep a secret? Um, we just met for the first time, so I'll say yes, you'll probably believe me. Our village's silver bell was stolen by thieves. Will you help us? Okay. The thieves' hideout is in the mountains north of the village. Please don't tell the townspeople about this. Hey guys, what happened? But to the bell, you know? Oh, wait, I'm supposed to keep a secret. God, nobody's home. Everybody must be outside, because you see a lot of townspeople hanging around. What's over here? Jeva's house. That's Sarah's crystal. Are you looking for the Books of East? Take this key to the shrine. Ah, that's what you needed the crystal for in order to get to the shrine at all. Monsters are seen here in Zepic. I wish someone would protect us. Um, I'm a dude with a sword and shield. I can probably get the job done. You gonna pay me? Okay, so where's the path to the mountains? I heard strange voices in the field. That's why your kid's having sex. Moving on. Okay, since this is a new area and we're likely to get our asses kicked, well, I'm the one that's getting my ass kicked, not you guys. I'm gonna save. Okay, here's some brigands over there. They're gonna be a problem. Yeah, see? You can't collide with them dead center. You just get massively hurt. But at least they're a good spot for experience. Let me try to rest up to get some more HP. Okay, so I have 322 experience and 918 gold. I wonder how much I get from them. Okay, I gotta break that group up. Hopefully I get one of them to come after me. And, you know, just one rather than... One, two, three, four, five of them. Okay, so it looks like I get 918, 14 gold, 
What was it, like, five experience from him? Okay, 327. Let's look at the experience very carefully. Okay, so I only get five experience from them. And 14 gold. That doesn't really help much, but it's better than nothing. Better than what I was getting in the first area. Like, north of Minia Village. So yeah, there's gonna be a whole lot of fighting I gotta do in the meantime. But let's keep going north. I'm sure we'll manage. Let me save again, because I did get pretty far. I just wish they'd give me more room for scrolling, but they don't give it to ya. Okay, that was the shrine, but let's not go there yet. Instead, let's go east. Let's see what's over there. Whoa! See, that's what I hate about the scrolling. You pretty much have to take your time. Otherwise, be caught off guard. Thank God I'm level 4, so I can probably inflict a good beating to them. Okay, so now I have a thousand gold, which means I can actually get some healing potions. Well, just one, actually. Like, one healing potion. Really? A thousand gold? My sword costs less than that! That's stupid! Like, I'm sure it costs more to make a sword than it does natural herbs. Unless the herbs are so rare, it's impossible to make plenty of them on the market. But still, that doesn't justify a very expensive price, I'm sorry. That's taking advantage of the needy. Okay, that does not look safe. That brigand made it so. See? I have to wait for this guy to get killed. Let me save again, because I'd rather do that than save states. There, now I can go across the chain. Right, is it good idea to go right? Uh, yeah, that's a dead end. That did not help me at all. There we go. I'll probably... Oh! Game over, bitch. Okay, let me go south this time. Oh, great, now two of them! Thanks, game! There. Sadly, you generate health at a slow rate. This does not look safe, but I'm doing it anyway. There's gotta be something good over here that's making me go this long distance. So if this was all for a dead end, I'd be super pissed. And wouldn't you? Yeah, another area. Where does this lead? I better find out and investigate. Oh, that was close. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. This leads back to the shrine, too. So technically, I just went around in a circle. I don't believe it. I went all this way just to go back to where I was. I don't believe it. Well, at least I'm taking out the armed Smurfs. It only takes like three or four hits and they're dead. What if there was something else around here that I missed? You know, just to look around. Nope, nope, this was a one-way path, of course, leading back to Zepic. Look at that! As soon as I get some good armor and a good sword, I'll be dead set. But at this point, I can barely afford it. Look at that! I just made a little turn because if I walked into him, I would have died anyway. And look what happens. Look at that. They just pretty much move around on purpose to avoid being hit off center. They know what they're doing. But I 
know there's somewhere else I can go before the shrine. I just want to find it first. It's nearby. I just gotta go to the right spot. It's just too bad I can't regenerate health while I'm moving. Of course, that would have broke the game, but still. It just would have been so generous to do that. Come on, Smurf, spring it. Oh, no, don't go back. Come on, come back here. Come back here, Smurf. Smurfy, come here. There. Problem solved. At least until they keep respawning. I won't give it back to me good. Now where did I not go? I know I went east on that last T. I just wish they made saving a little bit easier rather than have to scroll all the way down. Okay, it was this way I needed to go. What are you doing out here? Uh, wanna talk? Are we causing trouble? We take from the rich, but never the poor. All of our silver products are missing too. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so it's not the thieves are responsible for all the stuff being stolen. And they're losing silver as well. So we can roll the thieves though, because I doubt they took the bell. I mean, the bell's made out of silver, and they got their silver gone. There must be a connection. That was close. Okay, now I should go into the shrine and take a look. Uh, let me save again. Okay, at least I can regenerate health. Uh, there seems to be a bunch of statues here. And a purple floor. With a teal background, or very light baby blue. Yeah, those colors go really well together. Uh, let's see, I might as well just wait for a bit. Oh, that statue there is blue. What happens if I do this? Okay, so if I press the statue over here, I can probably just go back, can I? Ah, yes I can. So it's not a point of no return. Alright, let's go look around. Uh, well, there's no enemies. That seems like a very good thing. That means I can just wander around at my own leisure. Oh, I see a chest. Can I get to it from here? Oh, it's got some good stuff. Alright, let's see what's in this chest, and it's a ruby! Now, rubies I can't do anything with except for sell. In other words, this is a good source of income. I think rubies are like 1,200 gold. But either way, we got something good. Oh, there's that statue over there in case I want to go back. There's another chest. Oh, when it's locked. Oh, I guess I have to find a way to unlock it then. Oh, there was another door over there. I just wish the game would scroll a little bit better so I could have seen these doorways in advance. But because you had to go so deep, you'd barely be able to see them. Okay, let's try going south and then westward. That'll probably do the trick for me. I'm surprised there are no enemies here. They're just making this place a little too easy for me. I would imagine there'd be more enemies as further as I go. But let's go anyway. Okay, there's a door over there, but I'm gonna save and see what happens. Ok, 
Okay, I'm just gonna wait till I get to full health. That'd be a good idea. Because I have a feeling something there is waiting for me. Oh, there's the first boss. Looks like some kind of sorcerer that uses fire magic. Only problem is, I can't hit it. And you die practically instantly. Yeah. Apparently, my strength level is not that high. Therefore, I can do zero damage to it. That means I either have to level grind, get a better weapon, or both. I had to imagine both. So I'm going to stop the video here, and next part, we're going to take on that stupid fire mage again. See ya.